All right, thank you, Sarah. You know, we are just hours away from the start of the first presidential debate. Eight candidates are taking the stage later tonight, including Governor Ron DeSantis. In Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcedo joining us this morning in studio with a preview. Good morning to you. Good morning. Well, this is a pivotal moment for all the candidates taking the stage, but specifically for Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. They're going to be sparring against one another tonight in Wisconsin and look to introduce themselves as a candidate and bring forward their policies as well. Now, these eight candidates on your screen right now have qualified to be on the stage tonight, notably missing former President Donald Trump, who is the front runner in this race. He said he won't be attending. Now, that is really dri the driving force that is shifting the focus to Governor Ron DeSantis. The governor took aim at Trump on Fox News in a recent interview. Political experts say that's what DeSantis has to do to cut into his 40-point lead. He has, um, has a great opportunity to come out and, and do this. I think he owes it to people. Everybody has a responsibility to earn people's votes. If you don't take on the leader of the pack who's 40 points ahead of everybody else, how do you ever think you're going to get into first place and actually get the nomination? 10 Tampa Bay political expert Lars Hafner says this first debate really is a make or break for the governor. Hafner says DeSantis will likely be the main target for most of the other candidates on stage. DeSantis's performance could help turn things around for the governor, but Hafner says if things don't go well, it could be another issue in an already rocky campaign. Now, the debate starts tonight at 9 p.m. We'll have a breakdown of the key moments tonight on Nightside. In the studio, Angelina Salcedo, 10 Tampa Bay.